What's up, collective? Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to get these cards out here to see what's going on between you and the person you're thinking about. And then I'll turn this music down. Collective. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, collective. This looks like a karmic energy around you. There's somebody that's carrying the energy of a snake. This is somebody you've been with sexually before. And I see Divine Feminine out here, and this is a karmic ex of yours. This person is, is unapologetic. You could have been living with this person, and you could have kicked them out of your house because you could have realized or found out that they have a third-party situation. Um, they could have been causing a lot of problems in your home, and you kicked them out, and the relationship was over. And this person is mad. It's like they was they was sent on a pathway into your life to bring chaos and conflict to you. Okay? So we're gonna see what is the what was the chaos or for some of you it was this person just brought a lot of arguments into your home and confusion. For some of you, this person, the arguments and confusion could have been about a third party situation. Um this person is very immature. You can't tell them nothing. They may be older than you, but they're immature. This is somebody who, um, when you tell them something, they done been there and done that. Okay? For some of you, this person is sick. Okay? They could be mentally sick, physically sick, or literally sick, or emotionally sick. Okay? You kick this person out. Okay? They did something. Okay? They could have had multiple partners with this snake being over our energy. Um, this is somebody who, who you've been with before. They have multiple partners. This person is a snake, you know. Um, they'll slither up any tree. Whether that tree got stickers on it or what. They'll, they'll still slither up this tree. And this is a snake that, you know, go, has a lot of temptation around. Him. And now this snake, he's, he's looking at himself. He's looking at something he did. He didn't apologize to you. This may be somebody that may be sick and they're not telling you. This could be somebody they um, they just got out the hospital. Um, you kicked this person out of your house. Okay. Tell me more about this sickness. Or somebody could be saying they're sick and they're not really sick. Um... Somebody could be sick and not telling you and... and they're not apologizing. Okay. This could be your husband. This could be your ex-husband. Or this person could be married. You could have found out that they was married and it could have caused a lot of 
um, chaos, and you could have kicked them out. For somebody out there, this person is mad because they had you in a relationship with them and they didn't tell you, you was, that they was married. So, so this is why some of some of you the the reason why this person you know wasn't treating you right or treating a relationship like it was a relationship is because they were married. Now that's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. This is a karmic masculine right here. This could be your ex boyfriend, your ex husband, your ex baby daddy. For some of you, this don't even have to be nobody you was intimate with. For most of you, it is with that snake out here. Okay, this is somebody who was doing some sort of manipulation tactics, and they may be trying to come back towards you to reuse these same manip manipulation tactics. But I just want to warn you and let you know, this person, when they come back, they're going to come back with some new shit. You know, like they changed, and they haven't. They're still a snake. A snake don't change, it only sheds the skin. Okay? This snake is returning. If they had chaos going on in their life, they still got this chaos going on in their life. Okay? This, this person could either want to settle down with you or want to try to anchor you down in a relationship or in a marriage. Give me more about this snake. Tell me more about this snake energy. Now, if this is not your energy collective, this could be your person's energy or somebody around your person. Okay? Some sort of manipulation that's in reverse. It's not... Somebody was trying is trying to um, use some sort of manipulation tactics to get somebody to marry them or anchor them down. Um, this could be your ex-boyfriend, your ex-baby daddy. Your ex-husband with the marriage out here. For some of you, this person, you could have been married to them already. Um, and you just split up and they coming back. For others of you, um, this person is coming back to marry you, but they're a snake. Okay? This person didn't treat the relationship like a relationship because they had multiple options. And I see Divine Feminine out here. She know it, but she ain't saying nothing. Okay, she's looking at something something to do with, with her family. A divine feminine is looking at something to do with her family. Somebody in her family is, is um, acting immature. This person may be sick. Okay, if it's not family, it's a lover. Okay, take it where it resonates. So clarify this, this uh, manipulation or spell work. A child. Somebody is using a, um, a child to manipulate a masculine. A divine feminine knows it, but she's not saying nothing. But this is karma for this, this karmic masculine because he's a snake. Or he's looking at a snake. He's looking at himself as the snake. And his manipulation tactics ain't working no more, but he's not apologizing. He's mad. What is he mad about? What is this karmic masculine mad about? Because he got to be false in the situation. He got to be fake about something. What is it he's being false about? What is this masculine being false about? When it comes to divine feminine. What is he being false about? That he's trying to use you, divine feminine? How is he trying to use Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine, you're not getting the message that the snake is trying to use you, your ex. But whatever he was trying to do, his manipulation tactics ain't working. And he was possibly probably trying to manipulate you into being, you know, anchored in a situation with him and a third party. But I see you're not saying nothing about it. Okay. Tell me more. There's some concern out here.
Somebody is concerned about a marriage. It's a masculine out here. He's concerned that his wife is going to kick him out because of a child. He may have got a child somewhere that's hidden from one of these um, fruits on this tree. He then spread it his seed, slithering up and down them, them, them trees, the snake has. Okay. So, how is this masculine or this karmic masculine trying to anchor down, settle down with divine feminine? Divine feminine, that's you. And again. Now this could be two, this could be two divine feminines this masculine got. And neither one of them is saying nothing. Okay. Give me two more. It's chaos and conflict surrounding this third party situation. Um the conflict is somebody is wanting to settle down. This masculine um he has two divine feminines out here. Neither one of them is talking to him. Some sort of manipulation tactics with the child is some sort of way to hold this, you know, to keep this, to make this masculine settle down. And for some of you, this masculine, this karmic masculine, his his karmic ex, the manipulation that she's using on him is a child. Okay. Now this could be your masculine as the snake, or it could be this feminine energy. That's the snake. Okay, divine feminine. And yet, um, a divine feminine. Um, like I say with the masculines, they ain't, um, we ain't all, uh, perfect. This is showing me a divine feminine out here ma manipulating the masculine or he's manipulating her. Okay. So take it where it resonates. But this chaos and conflict, it's like this, this karmic masculine has chaos and conflict over his head or he's looking for somebody or searching for somebody. He's looking, he's looking at a snake. And like I said, that snake could be him or the snake could be somebody else. And the divine feminine is out there looking at, at a family member. At something with the family, but she not saying that. Or this person's family. He could be when he's he's around his family, he acts immature and he acts fake when he's around his family. And the family ain't doing nothing but using this mask. That's why he mad. Okay. Tell me more. What's why is this divine feminines in reverse? Why is divine feminine in reverse? This privileged lady. See, I, I got two decks here, so I work with two decks together, and both of these two feminines are the divine feminines in my deck. Okay. Their their um, motherly type energy, their love, earthly. Um, they show, you know, kindness and gentleness towards others. And so this masculine, he has two divine feminines in his energy, and this is a karmic that got two divine feminines, and he's being a snake. He's not he's not being intimate with them. They're not talking to him. He's getting karma. But he's happy. Somebody's happy. Something something is being illuminated. About a mature woman, an older woman. She could be five or six years older than her masculine. But this 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 karmic masculine believes that the, that one of these divine feminines that he's not their main man. 
So he could be mad about that. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So this could be a feminine energy. I guess she don't have to be divine feminine. Um, take it where it resonates. But uh, this is this is somebody's man feel like he's not the main man. So it could be a divine feminine. This man also, this main male, he could represent somebody who may work with houses. He could be a real estate agent, an insurance man, or um, he could be an attorney. Whatever job he does, he he uh, wears the suit and tie. Okay, now this could be your karmic ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, ex-child's father. But see, it's two divine feminines out here, and I see two masculines, and one is a karmic. Give me one more for why is divine feminine quiet? Why are these divine feminines not saying nothing? This masculine may be mad. He may feel that he's not neither one of these divine feminines main name. So it's one of these divine feminines. She's not saying nothing because she knows that maybe this masculine, he's about to take a trip. So this masculine is traveling between two divine feminines. And he's telling one divine feminine that the other divine feminine is his family. Because this isn't no karmic feminine out here. The, the one who's the karmic is the masculine. And it's like whatever manipulation tactics he's been using towards these two women um, or spell work, it ain't working no more. But there is a third party situation. And the row he's in, neither one of these women are in his row. What's in the row with him is chaos and conflict. He's not the main man and a pathway. One divine feminine is anchored down in some spell work or wants to settle. And some spell work is in reverse and she has a child. So this could be this could be one of you divine feminists. This could be your baby daddy. And then this this other other feminine energy, she have a snake up under her when it comes to a relationship. And she ain't saying nothing about it. And whoever this snake is, he's not apologizing. He could have got kicked out of the house. He could have kicked her out. Somebody may be getting out the hospital and don't have nowhere to go. Because they was using somebody. And they was being false. Now they're concerned or somebody is in the hospital and they're concerned that when they get out, they don't have nowhere to go. This is an immature man. That could be five years older than you, five years younger than you, or vice versa with him. But this person been wearing a, a false mask. They could either be a uh, Leo, they could be a Pisces, they could be a Capricorn. Tell me more about this this traveling. Why is the traveling card here? For a great fortune. What about this great fortune? Great fortune, something with the court, a main female. Okay, so for somebody, it looks like this is a married couple out here. And both of them was cheating. And 
somebody is traveling to a, towards a great fortune. So apparently one of these feminine energies that this masculine is messing with, this karmic masculine, whoever he's messing with, um, somebody, somebody could be trying to divorce him or he could be trying to divorce somebody and somebody don't want to, you know, either sign some papers or somebody haven't received some papers from the court. One of one of these feminine energies is um she's acting immature because she's not this masculine's main female. Whoever the feminine is that's that's um she's close to the courthouse or something. But she's false in some sort of situation. She's false. Um, this is one of these masculines, this masculine, um, she's not the main female and he's not the main male. It's like they, they both cheating on each other. It's th third party situation. So divine feminine, your, your person could be a karmic. He could be married and they both cheating him and his wife cheating. And you're, you're part of the third party because he's cheating with you does divine feminine did she know that this person is married does divine feminine know wealthy man see this is the, the, the husband to the to the privileged lady and he's a narcissist both of them probably narcissists this wealthy man and this privileged lady um, because they both got money, they're control freaks. Now, this could also mean if if they're not narcissistic, they could be just not talking to each other. Ain't nobody saying nothing to each other. These relationships, ain't everything is over. Nobody is saying shit except this karmic masculine. He's the only one that's like sitting upright talking. Now he could be saying something. Why is this ma this karmic masculine the only one saying something? He could be the one who's starting a lot of shit. Why is this karmic masculine the only one talking? He's spying or doing some sort of research. What is he spying? What is he researching? What is he researching? What is this karmic masculine research? Holy Spirit. Something to do with a gift? What gift? Somebody is being some he's researching somebody online that's false. He's he's doing some research about a gift. What about this gift with this false person? Oh, he's searching. He's searching to, to give somebody a gift. A false person. Some sort of letter. What is this message? Ooh. So this this um masculine energy is searching online or doing some sort of research on a false person that he gave a gift to or something. Or he may be giving this person a gift of a goodbye. Because that fiery bridge out there. And it's, it's, he don't want to cross this bridge with this person. He could be fine trying to figure out a way to, to divorce this person. And gift them. You know this. this, 
This could be this narcissist. This is this wealthy man. He he's he's like <clears throat> if this this if this is this wealthy man. He's 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 doing some sort of research on how to give somebody something because he was false or he gonna give somebody a, a letter and an envelope with some money or something. Um, it could be a letter that he could be writing to another karmic energy telling them, telling her or him that this is a bridge they don't want to cross. They don't, you know, they don't want to go with this person. Okay. Tell me more. This snake, he don't apologize. Some of you, this snake is in the hospital. Clarify this this hospital, this bad hill. Clarify the bad hill. Clarify the bad hill for reverse. What's the bad hill for reverse? Somebody refused to make a choice or they didn't make a choice or they made a bad choice. Somebody is in despair. They took some sort of risk or some sort of gamble. Mm -hmm. Why is this, this person in despair? And remember, this is not going to resonate with everybody. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. Somebody just don't have the strength to deal with their ex. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Everybody is quiet. Out of all these people out here, I see two divine feminines. I see um, an immature man, a main male, and a main woman. Nobody is saying shit. Everybody is quiet. A karmic female and came out. Somebody don't have the strength to deal with her and she ain't talking either. Only one who's talking is this karmic masculine who's in despair. He's, he could have a gambling addiction. He may like to gamble. He may like to take risks and stuff. Okay. But he's, he's you know, this, this masculine, may he may be in despair. He may not have a job. They may not be hiring where in the industry that he work in. But this is all karma for him being a snake. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this karmic feminine. Why is this karmic feminine here? Who is this karmic feminine? This may be a bunch of sick motherfuckers. Hiding a storm that they ain't going through. Everybody out here could be sick. And not telling. With the health and bad health in reverse. Or this masculine, this karmic masculine, may be doing some sort of spell work to er everybody is feeling sick over here. Here's some sort of new beginning. It could be a pregnancy. If you're not, if you don't, you can't get pregnant or you're past the childbearing stage. It could mean a new business, a new beginning. Um, you may be an entrepreneur. It could mean good things are coming to you. Okay. A birth of a new idea. Clarify this new beginning. For the collective. Clarify this new beginning. lovers in reverse some of you if it's not if you're pregnant you're not having sex okay and your partner is in despair because they can't get none of that since you're, since you're pregnant and that's not for everybody but some of you out there you're not giving it to your person and you're pregnant and in despair and they could be mad okay why is the lovers in reverse
Clear and find the levers in reverse. Because of a child. Some of you may not be getting none because um, some of you may be staying with somebody else and you can't do it because of the kids. You may have to, you may be in the room with you and the kids. Here's some sort of paperwork. That paperwork can, can be um, some sort of documents. It's a masculine could be out here in despair because he may be finding out that a child is his. Mm -hmm. But this masculine is saying we wasn't having sex, so how is that child mine? So that's what these court papers could be. They could be some sort of DNA papers. It could be child support papers. With a masculine and his karmic ex. Now that's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Somebody's karmic ex is, um, he may be refusing to sign some sort of papers or DNA papers or something. Something to do with a child. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, somebody is getting a divorce or something is ending. Okay, the court is out here. Twice. It was courthouse and the courthouse papers. Okay. And this is, they're both in reverse. So somebody could be losing a court case or a court case may not go in this karmic energy's favor. Um, he could find out that this child may not be his. Um, this could be child support. He may be refusing to pay child support for a child. Um, and now he's being ordered to pay child support. And for the pregnancy for somebody. So somebody out there, either you or this karmic, has a baby with this masculine already and pregnant again. Okay. Anyway. And if this is resonating with your energy, y'all hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, and poverty. So this masculine probably is in poverty because he done found out that a child is his um, and he's been ordered to pay child support. This could be why this masculine could be sick for some of you. He could be sick at the results of getting that some DNA papers, some, some kids is his. He could have two kids and... Um, a feminine could be pregnant by him right now. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know why nobody is saying nothing. Why is, why is everybody so quiet, Holy Spirit? Private investigator or somebody being nosy. Somebody has a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Um, secretly somebody is smart or secretly somebody is watching you. Why is everybody so quiet? Some attorneys on some of these people's asses or something. Why is everybody so quiet? Why is not nobody saying nothing? Why is everybody so quiet, Holy Spirit? Why is everybody so quiet? About a trip? What about this trip? Why is this boat here? So somebody is taking a trip and they're happy about a trip. Somebody is taking a trip and somebody is in despair. Somebody may be spying on somebody while they go take a trip or trying to...